Hi everyone, welcome back to a new lecture. In this lecture, we are going to talk about Terraform and AWS and this is a day one of 30 days of Terraform challenge. All right. So if you do not know what is 30 days of AWS challenge, so go over playlist and there is a separate playlist for 30 days of Terraform challenge. You can go and check that out. All right so this is our day one so we in today we are going to discuss some of the basics of terraform and also about aws right so if you want to understand why do we need terraform so first we need to understand what are the challenges that we had in the traditional it infrastructure right so these are some of the challenges that we were facing one is slow deployment right so slow deployment because we need to get the hardware and other things from the vendors and then start deploying it we need to procure it first we need to manage the infrastructure so it was taking a lot of time for us to get the things done and get it approved later on we were able to deploy it and it is also very expensive so if you want to go ahead and buy your own hardware you we will have to pay some upfront cost also when you are in traditional IT but cloud has changed that entire thing but there is a problem uh, with the infrastructure management using cloud computing so that is why we have Terraform so we'll talk about that later but for now let's stick on to what are the challenges that we have in traditional IT the third point is it was completely manual process you were going to your vendors you were getting all your requirements and you were providing those to them and they were supplying all the requirements back to you right so it was completely manual process and it was taking a lot of time with manual process there were some human errors also human errors we cannot do anything for that but we can minimize the human errors we cannot uh, you know vanish human errors in traditional IT also we were having that errors so to tackle all of this what happened cloud computing started coming into picture and when cloud came into picture we had another uh, another problem that is management of your infrastructure so let's say uh, by with the help of cloud computing you were you were able to create lot many resources but how do you manage that right for example so i'll just say go ahead and deploy 100 100 uh, ec2 instances 100 aws s3 buckets right so if i want if i ask you to do it manually you will take too much time even if i say five minutes for if you take five minutes per deployment of an ec2 instance you would end up uh, wasting 500 minutes right so that is a lot as a uh, in a perspective of a resource management so that is a lot so to overcome this uh, so companies started thinking about it and they started developing some tools such as terraform cloud formation heat ansible salt stack chef puppet and other things right so these are the infrastructure as a code tools or code services so now let us break down this infrastructure as a code right so we have two terms here infrastructure and code you already know what is code right so you already know uh, by using uh, you know code you will manage infrastructure that is the meaning of your infrastructure as code basically with the help of your logics or your code you are able to manage your infrastructure you will be able to manage your infrastructure so that is the meaning of infrastructure as code okay so there are multiple tools like terraform Terraform is completely free for usage and there is also a paid one you you can go for it but you will get Terraform cloud and other things so which we will be speaking about in the future classes but right now stick on to Terraform saying that it is completely free for usage okay cloud formation so cloud formation templates these are uh, AWS native tools so you will need to know YAML or JSON uh, script to write this cloud formation template basically all the requirements you have right so let's say you have to create a ec2 instance so you write those in a yaml file and you deploy it in your aws itself so in aws we have a separate service called cloud formation by using that you will be able to deploy it 
okay so that is cloud formation i will be showing at at the end so wait till the end i will show you the cloud formation page and all okay next we have heat we have ansible ansible is uh, provided by uh, you know red hat so this is also a kind of an infrastructure as a code tool but uh, we cannot say it is 100% infrastructure as a code so uh, in the infrastructure as a code we have multiple things to consider so we'll speak about that in the coming uh, lecture here itself uh, in this video so wait till then we also have sol stack chef puppet and others so now you might ask which tool should i learn so what i recommend is for example if your organization is using any of this infrastructure as a code tool i am sure if your organization is working on cloud they would be using some infrastructure as code tool right so go ahead and understand what infrastructure as code tool they are using and start learning that first for example in my organization we were uh, you know studying about ansible first or we were working on ansible so i directly went and learned ansible first and then moved to terraform right so there is no proper way or road map for this one so it would be easy for you if you if you start taking this as per your organization's requirement okay so uh, that is the suggestion that i want to give okay now in infrastructure as a code tool itself we have two types one is configuration management tools and provisioning tools so first let's go with management tools what are configuration management tools so we told that we have ansible chef puppet and and other things right so these are configuration management tools so what are they used for because you need to understand what is the difference between configuration management and infrastructure provisioning right so configuration management they are primarily designed to install and manage softwares on existing servers for example let's say i have a uh, hundred servers already created okay i want to install some agent or software on it let's say i want to install vs code on my uh, servers all those hundred servers so how do you do that will you log into all the servers and manually install them or will you automate that right so that particular solution you can get it from these tools like ansible chef and puppet these are configuration management tools and this point makes clear out of that right so basically they maintain a standard structure of code right i told you uh, you will have to write yaml or json script to work on these particular areas and this supports version control tools as well right so if you want to write some code and if you if you want other team members to also use the same code you can put them into version control tools like git github or uh, you can also use bitbucket all those things are supported here next it is id important so this is really important termination the ter terminology here right if you see here uh, i've given the uh, you know very lemon definition for this item potent so please understand what is item potent okay so item potent means you can run the code multiple times and every time you run it it will only make changes that are necessary to bring the environment into a defined state right so if it is already in place it will ignore it right so let's say you have written a script and you created 100 servers okay so later on you will you will run the same uh, script again so what it will do is it will understand that i already created 100 uh, 100 servers this person is asking me to create another 100 or it is the same uh, same one it will understand if it is the same one it is it will leave as it is it is not going to alter anything right if you read this definition it will be more clear to you okay next is Configuration management tools can do some degree of infrastructure provisioning, but you cannot take this up and you know use entirely for infrastructure provisioning, right? So this the focus here is that some tools are going to be better fit for certain tasks. So provisioning it can do the configuration management tools can bring up servers, can create servers, but it is not made for that right so it is made for maintaining your existing infrastructure so you will have to use it for that itself 
but then how will you provision your, provision your infrastructure so there we have multiple tools and we call those tools as infrastructure provisioning tools and terraform cloud formation all these things are infrastructure provisioning tools which basically means you can provision the servers or infrastructure by writing scripts by writing terraform hashicorp language we use terraform uh, in terraform we use something called as hcl language we will be speaking about that in the next video or day two so i i will be making a video on that but terraform and this cloud formations or infrastructure provisioning tools basically you can deploy your vpcs ec2 databases and whatever the resources that you are uh, having you can use that and you can write scripts for that but i told we have many tools like terraform cloud formation and all but why do we need terraform only so why are we studying terraform only why not cloud formation so to answer that it is really straightforward as i already told you cloud formation is made for aws only so you can only work with aws if you want to go with cloud formation but terraform you have something called as providers here in terraform basically you can work with almost all the cloud providers you can go and work with aws azure you can also work with github in fact you can also work with uh, you know uh, um, oracle cloud infrastructure there are lot many providers that we will be looking into uh, details right so but in terraform it is cloud agnostic so you can go ahead and deploy resources in almost all cloud service providers and this helps in multi cloud architecture right so that is the reason why companies are moving towards terraform right so now let us get into details on why terraform itself as discussed it is a popular ise ise means infrastructure as a code tool okay so we uh, under infrastructure as a code remember it is a infrastructure provisioning tools okay and the second point it is completely free and open source developed by hashicorp so this is the organization which developed your terraform so terraform uh, if you see here this is the script this will deploy your aws ec2 so the syntax that you are seeing here this is the same syntax that we are going to use in the coming lecture but remember this this is uh, you know this particular code is developed by hashicorp and the language that they use is hcl hashicorp configuration language okay so here if you see it is simple configuration language and faster learning curve that is also another important point like you you would be able to learn it very quickly right if you see here you, anyone would understand we have some resource you will understand you are creating a resource if you are writing resource here that means you are creating a resource and what resource are you creating aws ec2 instance and what is the name of that ec2 web server what is the ami you are providing here what is the instance type you are providing here this is going to create an ec2 instance right so simple don't worry i will be explaining in detail about all these things in the next video but try to understand what is hcl right so with the help of terraform we can deploy infrastructure in multiple platforms not only aws that is all i told you right so you can deploy all the resources whatever the resource that you want you can uh, deploy it in all the cloud service providers most of them are available today right so next thing it is possible because terraform something called as providers so which we will be seeing in the future right so this infrastructure i told you right you can deploy infrastructure in multiple platforms it is possible because of uh, this terraform in some uh, in terraform we have something called as providers block providers basically uh, uh, to say it or uh, you know straight forward so we have different cloud service providers right so we have um, you know aws azure gcp oci all those things alibaba cloud all those things we have so imagine providers as them right so you have multiple providers not only that but i'm just giving an example here 
okay so in terraform we have something called as providers which we will see in the future okay so we will have a def uh, you know separate video on that also but now you understand that it is possible because of this providers block right so and this one is easy to integrate with your configuration management tools right so after creating 100 servers using terraform so you can integrate it with the configuration management tools like ansible chef and puppet so to manage those uh, servers you can use this configuration management tools and you can also integrate it with terraform also right so that is one of your advantage next how to get started so we, what should i do so first things first you need to install terraform so based on your operating system go ahead and install it so if you want to watch a video on that i have created a separate video so which will be coming out soon after this video itself or maybe 15 minutes later so you can watch these videos based on that you can install it so follow these videos step by step so i've explained in detail on how to install terraform on windows how to install it on linux how to create an IAM user which is needed for to, to work with your Terraform. So how to install CLI, AWS CLI on your Windows machine and all. So go ahead and watch these videos first and then get started with a day two, right? So this is just an introduction to what is Terraform and why do we need Terraform? What are infrastructure as a code tool and other things? Right? So go ahead, install Terraform based on your operating system and follow these uh, video tutorials that i will be rolling out in next coming minutes okay so follow those things and get ready for your day two so until then see you all and bye